Armen Sarkisyan has been elected fourth president of Armenia as a result of the vote in the National Assembly. Head of the Parliament Election Commission, Gagik Melikian, said Sarkisyan was elected with 90 votes for and 10 votes against as a result of secret ballot. Sarkisyan will assume office after the powers of the incumbent president will come to an end on April the 9th. A delegation from Georgia and led by Prime Minister Georgi Kuvrikashvili on Friday arrived in Armenia on an official visit. Armenian-Georgian relations continue to develop in a climate of mutual trust, Armenian Prime Minister said after the talks. His Georgian counterpart welcomed the recent signing of a new EU-Armenia agreement as well as Armenia's reforms in public administration, especially its passing to a parliamentary system of government. The National Assembly elected former Minister of Justice Sarai Tomasyan as member of the Constitutional Court of Armenia. Subsequently, Tomasyan took a respective oath at the National Assembly session and assumed his position as a member of the court. Tomasyan was the only candidate running for the position of Constitutional Court member. The Turkish Court of Cessation has upheld a claim filed by the foundation of the Armenian Church of St. Kiragos in Diyarbakir, Turkey. Thus, the court annulled the decision by the Turkish Council of Ministers on expropriation of this Armenian church. The United States has reacted to the recent statement by Russian President Vladimir Putin about his country's military might. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders said Putin has confirmed what the United States government has known all along, that Russia has been developing destabilizing weapons systems for over a decade in a direct violation of its treaty obligations. In his speech, Putin had touched upon the development of nuclear-capable weapons that elude air defense systems and of an invincible missile that travels at high speed. Members of Egypt's parliament have called to recognize Armenian genocide. Citing the two resolutions recently adopted by the Dutch parliament, two Egyptian MPs demanded a similar decision from the Egyptian legislature. According to them, such a move is necessary to confront Turkey's continuous infringements as the massacre of Armenians is a historical fact and everyone should have a clear stance. <laughs>